Hey, Pastor George here. Well, by now, if you've been watching national news, you may have actually heard about the devastation that has occurred in southern Louisiana, all through the area around Baton Rouge, Denham Springs, Natchez. It's insane. Don't look for coverage of the president being there because he didn't show up. The national news really isn't covering it. There's thousands of people out of their homes and lost everything. And I'm coming to you today with an appeal for one couple, friends of mine, uh, Robert and Irene Jackson. Robert and Irene are really special to me. Um, Robert was um, one of the original signatories to the charter of Nehemiah Center. They, uh, they lost everything. Now, these are people of modest means to begin with. That's an understatement. And they would never ask for a dime for themselves, but I'm going to ask. About three or four days ago, I put a uh, appeal out to try to replace at least one of the two vehicles that they had that, that got drowned out. Maybe a hospital bed or two. They lost both of those two, along with all their clothes, all their possessions, everything. They literally left with the clothes on their back. Matter of fact, the day the flood water started to rise, Robert went down to the market to uh, buy a couple of things, thinking that it was not going to be that bad. By the time he got back, less than an hour later, he was blocked by the water and his wife was still up the house. And he had to wait there with the water lapping around his legs as his wife frantically tried to get out. Thank God for the Cajun Navy is all I can say. A lot of people have asked how they can help. And yes, we did get donation of a car. We got a donation of a hospital bed, thank God. The car needs a little bit of repairs. Uh, needs a couple of oxygen sensors in it. We need to get some money to, together to get that fixed. Uh, we've got a mechanic that's stepped up to the plate uh, to, uh, uh, to put the oxygen sensors in. That's awesome. A lot of people have asked, is there a way to make a cash donation? We set up a GoFundMe page. And uh, I hope that you'll donate something. Uh, even, you know, five, ten dollars is is, is is a lot when you got nothing. And and you know what? Just remember one thing. If you've got more than the clothes on your back, okay, you've got more than they do because that's what they have. I don't know what's going on with the Red Cross or Samaritan's Purse or nothing else. I know about one family, and I'm bound to determine to help them, and I hope you'll help me to help them. You know, there's an old story, and I'll, I'll leave this with you, and then I'll share some pictures of what's going on down there. Old man and a boy are walking along the seashore and after a big storm. And all along the seashore is uh, starfishes all over the place. And they're dying. They're dying up on the street. They're not in the water no more. They can't get back in the water. Starfish. And the young lad starts picking them up one at a time and tossing them back in the ocean. There's, there's thousands upon thousands of them out there. The old man says, what are you doing? He says, I'm saving the starfish. He says, what? What? possible difference could you make? And little boy picked up one of the starfish, whipped it back into the ocean, said it made a difference to that one. Why don't you help these starfish out? Donate some money. God bless.